Over the last couple of years, we've ran with the one team. Um, <clears throat> we did try it um, two years ago with a second team, um, but we were looking at the uh, juniors coming up just weren't ready to play in Division One. So we needed something to bridge that gap, which is why we um, decided on putting a team in, in Division Two as well, just to better prepare those players to come up and play Division One hockey, because obviously we're back in Division One now. So it's a big learning curve for the guys that are here, and even bigger if you're stepping out of juniors. I don't think the guys are uh, under any illusions about what they're playing in. Um, <clears throat> a lot of them are playing at this level for the first time. A couple are playing back at this level, but everybody's still young. I think our oldest player is 27. In terms of motivation, there's no, there's no lack of it. Um, I think guys are, are excited to be back in this league. And then, you know, like we had a game uh, on Sunday where we were we were leading most of the way through it. Um, we ended up losing by two goals, and we've had a few games like that where we've kind of felt a little bit hard done by whether it's a decision that hasn't gone our way or a bit of luck that hasn't gone our way. Um, I think if we were getting blown out every week, it would be different, but that's not the case. You know, the games are, are quite competitive um, here and on the road. And I think um, that's motivation enough for the guys because they're chasing that win now. They really need that win. I think the, the standout team this season is Streatham. Yeah. Um, they, they could, I think they could easily play in the, the National League above us. Um, they, they pretty much got their same team from the, the National League. Um, in terms of, of Chelmsford, I think this is my 12th or 13th year of doing this now and I think I've seen Chelmsford win the league about eight times, so they're, they're experienced in this league, they're, they know what they're doing um, and of course that's the number one team in their rink, um, so they, you know, they get all the sponsorship stuff that comes with that, you know, like selling barrier boards and things around the rink that, to make things financially better for them, whereas we know where we are, we, you know, we've obviously got an elite league team above us, so um, we don't get those luxuries that, that they get. Um, but I think in terms of competing on the ice, um, over the years we've always uh, competed with them, um, even when they were, they were dominant at this level. Um, and I think that'll, that'll be the same this year. You know, I think they'll be there or thereabouts towards the end of the season, but I, I think we'll be able to compete with them this time. Um, I think in terms of Cardiff being a hockey city, it's, it's almost kind of back to where it was when the rink was in town. Yeah. You know, people knew about it, um, whereas when we had the temporary rink in the bay, it wasn't that publicised. Um, I think with the Devil's success as well, that's drawn a lot of new fans back, uh, or, or a lot of fans back and a lot of new fans as well. And I think some of them are sampling, coming to, to see the fire. Um, and you know, this is our fifth year now. Um, and over the years, we've been lucky to, to enjoy some good support and probably one of the better supported teams in our league as well. So I don't think it's um, a hindrance as such. There's certain things that, you know, in terms of selling advertising space, which is always good to do, um, yes. And in picking our, our fixture dates is, is always challenging. You know, there's great facilities here now that, you know, there's, there's, you can get nice food, that, you know, the bar's always open. It, you know, you get a decent seat to sit on. Uh, it's not a freezing cold ice rink like most of them are, so I think you can, you can come and, and not wear 12 layers of clothing. It's, um, it's a comfortable place to come and watch it, and I think that's definitely helped um, in terms of our, the, the new fans that come in to see us. And we are, you know, we get the old returning ones that have been with us for a long time, um, but we are noticing quite a lot of new people coming through the doors as well and, and loving it and staying and buying the merchandise and sticking around and come, keep coming back every week. It's probably a little bit more physical than the Elite League. There's probably a few more hits um, that, that, that go in. Um, our brand of hockey is, uh, is quite, a, uh, in terms of Cardiff Fire, it's quite North American. We, we get the puck in deep and then we go in and try and hit some bodies around to, to win it back. Um, and uh, I think the Elite League's pretty similar to that as well. The guys were, were absolutely gutted to lose uh, on Sunday uh, so late in the game the way we did and I think that um, the motivation immediately turned to Sunday. Um, obviously looking at league tables at the moment isn't, it's not a really good thing to do because obviously we're only a quarter of the way through um, but you do get a rough idea about where teams are and obviously with, with Milton Keynes we're surprised because they were one of the originals out of the three that stayed up, Milton Keynes, Streatham and Invicta were the, were the three. Um, they don't seem to have had the same start as, as the other two. Um, they are down the bottom of the table with us. And you know, we, we went a year 
where we played as the second tier of British hockey, um, and we ended up with finishing the season with three points. Um, we're not in for another season like that. We want to win this game on Sunday, and we, we're putting everything into it. And you know, we've told the boys it's it's not an option. We've got to win that game. I think myself and all the boys are feeling good. We've had a good practice tonight, and we're looking ahead to the weekend to try and get our first win of the season. We've had a few close games previously. We're just trying to look to build on that and try and get our first W. It was a very respectable result, but I still feel gutted about the result. I feel that we did enough to win. Unfortunately, on the result on the day, we just didn't have the puck luck to get that victory, but we are building, like you said previously, we're a young team, we're improving every game and we will get that first W this weekend. We have a really good locker room as well. We have a lot of young boys who are hungry just to get that victory and we're all keeping our spirits really high. I'm um, joined by Josh Haslam and Sam Bryan as my assistant captains and they've been great alongside me to just try and keep the morale up on the team. And yeah, it's just to do with just bonding as a team, just to know that we will get a victory this season and when we get the first victory, we'll set the ball rolling. Just come and give it a try, because uh, most most that do enjoy it. Um, obviously, it isn't as quick as the Elite League, but they, the hockey is still very good standard. It's the, the third tier of, of, of British hockey. It's the third best league. Um, you'll see a lot of action, and uh, I guarantee you'll come back. If people come down, they won't regret it. We play a brand of hockey which is very aggressive and very physical, and it does put bums on seats.